Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another tutorial. At the end of the last video, what we had was, so we can create Google, and then we can add a description. So in our case, our description could be a cool website. Whoa. My Mac just like totally lagged out there. It was weird. And then, so we can add google.com, and we can save a post, and it looks good. And then with that, we can open up the website right here, right now, on the website. Then, in here, it creates a post, has the description, the name, and the URL, and it has a random ID, which is good, because it's not as easy to, like, rem memorize. Alright, but today, what we're th I'm thinking we're going to do is, one sec, let me just clear our Firebase. Let me just delete that one. Today, what I'm thinking we should do is we should add the ability to add, or sorry, not add, delete posts. Deleting posts is pretty freaking important because if you think about it, if your users aren't able to delete posts, I mean, what's the fun in that? So, in the main.html, I'm just going to create a new button with the ng click. ng click is probably going to have, or not probably, that sounds weird, it's just going to have a method called delete post that's going to take in the post, and then we're just going to have it saying delete post. And because I can, I kind of can think of some bootstrap off the top of my head, the class is going to be button, button dash danger. So just like that, we can start building it. So then we can jump into the app.js, and in app.js, we can do scope.delete post equals function. The function is going to, of course, take in the post. Then we're going to open up the squiggly brackets. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do var post for deletion and the post for deletion is just going to be the id of the post that the post is or the id of the post that's about to be deleted then we're going to do new firebase and inside this firebase we can create we can copy this url our firebase url and we can paste it inside so this is going to get the firebase url we're also going to add a slash from that and then we're going to do plus and we're going to do post dot dollar sign ID. So that's going to get the ID for this. The next thing we're going to do is not much more s difficult than that. We're just going to add post for deletion dot remove. Simple as that it should work. Now let's create a new post. For some reason I keep using Google. Let's use like Yahoo for example. So I don't know why I keep using Yahoo. All right, so, oh, I know the problem. We forgot to reload the page, of course. So here we have Yahoo, let's create, delete the post. And just like that, boom, it got deleted from our Firebase as well. 